Hello everyone, my name is Shambhavi and today we are going to discuss about the classes. That basically how we make the classes in Python. After that, we are going to see the two terms that are instance and class variable. That what are basically instance and what are the class variables. Then we are going to see some constructors in classes that are self and int. Okay. We are just going to understand that basically what is self and what in what is in it. And after that, we will be ending this video used by explaining about class methods. Okay, so these are the four topics which we'll be covering today, right? So let's get started with the few things for today. Okay. So firstly, let's see that basically how we just declare and how we just make some classes in Python. Okay. Let's say I just want to make a class that is a student. Okay, I just want to make a class and the name of that class should be student, right? What I would do, I would just use a keyword and that keyword is class. Okay. In after this class, what I would do, I would just write my class name, whatever I want. Let's say I would just say that I just want to make a class that is a student, right? So I just wrote class and it is student, right? I would put this colon, right? This is the syntax. Okay. So this is basically how you just declare a class of your choice. Sorry. Let's say in my example, I just take, uh, I had just declared a class named student, right? You can just take any example of your choice, right? Now, this I have just done that a class student. And now I'll just write here pass because I would just not write anything inside this class for now, right? Now, we have one more term that is called the object, right? So whenever we make class, let's say, let's say I have made a class that is a student. Now I would make some objects of this class. So let's say the object which I am going to make for my class is student, and that is one, right? I would just write one is equal to, and here I would just write my class name, right? That is student and I will just put these brackets, right? So this one, this is what is this called? This is called the object for my class, right? So basically, this is how you make the object for your class. So let's say I just make one object that the name even for that object was one. Now I just want to make another and let's say I would give the name as two. So I write two is equal to a student and in the brackets, I put this uh, bracket, right? So basically, this is how we make the objects for our class, right? This is done. So for now, I have just told you that basically how to declare a class, how to make a class and then how to make the objects of that class. Now, what next I need to do here is that next I would be just naming some instance. Okay. Now, basically, what does this instance mean? OK, now instance are the variables which are with our objects. OK, let's just sorry. Just let me give you an example for that. Let's say here I just wrote one dot name. OK one dot name okay i would just put a equal to and here let's say i would just write the name that is real now what is this name name is my instance okay instance of my class because what here i have done i have just taken my object that is one and then i have just named it as name so basically what is this called this is called my instance variable fine i was just telling about these things in the like um, instance and class variables but for now also i have just told that this is known as an instance fine now what i would do i would just write one dot name then i would write one dot standard is equal to i would just let's say here i would write this 10 let's say uh the name was ria and the standard in which she studies is 10 okay let's say i would just make one more and let's say i would just write the section okay one dot section and let's say S E T I O N. okay and let's say the section is let's say eight okay so let's say uh, here what I have done, I've just made a class that is two in for now. And then I have just taken two objects for the class that are one and two. And other than that, I have just declared some uh, instances this side, right? So that are name, standard and section with my class, with my object that is one. Now I just want to do the same thing with my object that is two, right? So what I would do, I would just write two. Uh, let's say, let's leave one line space here, okay? I would write two dot name find this two dot name let's say i just want to add a name here let's say that name is okay let's say that name is sima fine let me just go down this side fine let's say i just want to add one more variable that is let's say i would just want to add subjects okay two dot subjects now what i can do i, would, I could just store a list also this side so i just take this subject and i just want to tell you that we can even store a list so basically i just uh, like i have already told you all of these things that basically List are denoted using the large brackets. So you can just say square brackets or big brackets, right? So here what I have done, I have just made a large bracket, fine. Now, what I would do, I would just store some, let's say some subjects aside. Let's say I would store computer. Then even I would store some math. Okay, mathematics. Okay, math, fine. 
even if I just want to store signs, even fine. C I okay, C I E N C E signs. Okay, that this is done. So basically, uh, I have just done the same thing with my two object also fine. Now what I would do if I just want to access any uh, anything from my objects. Okay, let's see. I would just write print. Okay, P R I N T. Now inside this print, what I want to do, let's say I just want to access one dot name and even we can just put a comma and we even we can just add another thing beside also. Okay, so I just wrote print one dot name and even just say I would write one dot standard. Okay, standard. Now when I would just run my program, so let's see that what's the output which we are going to get. So see what I got that Ria and Ted. So basically what I just entered here print one dot name and one dot standard. So it will go into my one object and inside this it would find that okay one name name is there. So it will see that what name is stored there that is Ria. So it will give me the output as Ria. Same procedure it will do for the standard also. In standard, this 10 is stored. So it will give me the output as 10. Fine. So this was about that basically how we can just make a class and make the objects for the class. Let's say I just want to write one more print statement. Okay. If I would write just P R I N G. And inside this, I would just say, let's say I want to write one dot section. And even I just want to access my another object. Let's say I just want to write two dot subject okay two dot subject let's say i just want to write this thing also so uh, let me just com comment this above line fine now if i just want to do this thing so can i do can i just in a single printer statement can i use two objects so yes you can do so basically see what the output i just got here that is a computer math and science so computer math and science are the subjects which i have stored in my two subjects two dot subject and basically a is my section which i just used for a one dot section right so this is basically how we make the classes right this is the way okay okay i just i just want to do one thing i have just written this in the like i just already named the file so i just written the wrong file okay i'll just copy and i will just cut it from here and i will just paste, paste it over this one okay this is fine right so basically i just told you that basically how we just make a class and an object in our python programming right so this is the way for doing that now our second topic for today comes as instance and class variables okay so instance and class variables right so whenever we are just dealing with the oops and like we whenever we are just dealing with all of these things what we need to do is that firstly firstly we need to just declare a class right so for that i would just write class okay and after this class what i would just write i would just give any class name let's say i would just take the same name that is student student fine i would just write okay what i would do i would write okay and o number of Subject. Now, now have a look here that what I have done, I have just declared a class that is a student, right? And inside my student class, what I have written, I have written a variable that is number of subject and assign it a value as five. Well. Now, what is this number of subjects called? Okay, so basically, whenever you just declare any variable inside your class, right? Inside your class, that is called as class variable, right? So here, let's say you have just written class and then student, right? You have just declared your class. Inside this, you have just written a variable that is number of subjects. So whenever you would just say, so this would be called as a class variable because you have just declared this variable inside your class. I hope you just got the point that basically what is this class variable? Just write pass this side, fine. Now what I would do, I would just do the same thing. That is one is equal to a student and this place, this brackets. What I would do, I would write uh, one dot and okay, I would write two dot. Okay, fine. Two is equal to and then what I would do, I would again do student. Fine, so this is done. I would I just, just did here. I just made the object for my student class after one and two. Now what I would do, I would just do the same thing which we have done previously. I would just write one dot name. I would write one dot name and even equal to sign is equal to Ria. Fine, this is done. Now what else I would do? I would write one dot standard. Okay, one dot standard is equal, let's say A. Fine. What I would do, oh sorry, standard cannot be A, so just let me make it to 10. Fine. Now what I would do, I would write one dot section is equal to let's say A. Fine. This is the whole thing which I have written. I would do the same thing for my 
2 also. So I would write, let's have this two by space, I would write 2 dot, 2 dot name is equal to, let's say I would just write C now, fine, I just like what, whatever we are written previously. I would write 2 dot name and I would write 2 dot standard, D A R D like a standard. I would just give it, give it a script, fine, let's say assign it for SEMA as well. And even I would write two dot section and even I would just give it a section. Let's say section is B, fine. So this is the whole procedure. This is done. And now if I just want to access the things, what I would write, I would write print. And inside this, I would write one dot section. Let's say I just want to uh, access the same things. Okay, so I would write one dot section. Even I would just write two dot section only, fine. And I even S-E-C-K-I-O-N, okay. So I would just run the program. So while running, I would just get the required output. And that is A, B, fine. So this was this was the easy, but this was not this is not about the instance and class variables, fine. So here now let's say I just I just want to access my class variable. Let's say my my class what was my class variable? My class variable was number of subjects, right? Number of subjects was my class variable. If I just want to access that, what I would do? I would just take any of my objects of my class and even I can just use my class name also. Let's say I would just write one dot and here I would write number of subjects, fine. I just want to access this number of subjects variable, this my this class variable that is present in my class. What I have done, I have just written one, ob one object that is one. I just put a dot sign and even I just wrote the class variable whatever I just wanted to print. So whenever I just run my program, what I got here as the output is got the output as 5. Now, let's let's match it from the above. Yeah, the output which we are getting is absolutely same. So here I got, I just got number of subjects is equal to and here I just got, uh, I just like enter the value as 5. So here I just got the output as 5 only, right? Now, one thing this side, I just want to let you all know. Let's say, let's say, I, I would just tell you one more thing while I would just write print and I would just write my class name. Okay, I print student dot number of subjects. Let's say and even I would just comment both of these lines. Fine. And I would if I just want to run this program. So yeah, then also I would be getting my output that is five. Yeah. So I I hope you got the point that basically how you'd be getting the things. Now uh, what I have written here, I have written print uh, student number number of subjects. Fine. Now, if I just want to change the value of my number of subjects using my object name, okay. What I just want to say here that I will just write one. Fine. I just write one dot number of subjects, and even let's say I just want to assign a new value to this. Let's say I just assign a value as six to my number of objects, okay. And now, if I just want to run my program, I would write print. And even I just want to run one dot number of subjects. Fine. Let's, let's just comment this thing out. Let's run that program. Fine. So here what I just got the output that is six. So from here what I just did, I just wrote one dot number of subjects is equal to six. So it just printed me that one dot number of subjects is six only. Fine. And just let me do one thing. I, let, let's just uncomment the line. Fine. Now when I would just run my program here finally uh, like uh, before giving the uh, number like before declaring the variable like one dot number of subjects equal to six i was just getting the output when i just run one dot number of subjects as five and after giving it a value as change that is six so i'm just getting the output as six okay so this is the basically way uh, this is the instance and this is the class so i just told you about the instance that whatever the uh, variables you are just uh, writing with the object name that are called as the instance variables. So in our case for the object that is one, the instance variables are name standard and section and even for the object number object that is two, the instance variables are name standard and section, right? So this is a whole concept about the instance and class variable. Now moving towards the third concept for today and that is self and in that are constructors, right? So now we are just going to discuss about the self and in it constructors, fine. Let me just give it a zoom in, right? Let's say I would just take my same class that is a student, fine, this class and a student, I just put the colon this side also, fine. Now what I need to do here is that I would just make that same number of subjects, okay? My class variable number of subjects, let's say I would just get a value of five, okay? Now, what are my self and init constructors, right? So here what I'm going to just like write 
the firstly i'm just going to write about the self uh, sorry write about the init constructor okay so what is the way for declaring that so i just write diff okay if is my keyword for defining a function right now i have just already all told all of these things in my uh in previous videos so if you just want to have a look about the function you can just go there and have a proper look at basically what are function what are the things right so for where what i have done then i have just written def and def is my uh, keyword which is used for declaring of a function right now what i would write i would just write underscore underscore in it and then underscore underscore and i would just enter this fine okay fine so here what i have done as soon as i have written dev underscore underscore in it so i just got an option and i just entered so while entering what i just got i got this self automatically in my function inside my function right so basically these are the self and in it that are called as the constructors fine now basically why are they used okay fine let me just uh, uh, like tell you the some things to the side let's say we were just in this example that we have just taken the instance and class variables what i did here i just want to enter the name standard and section for my object one and even i just want to enter name standard and section for my object two right so i have just written everything in a separate line let's say i just wanted to write the name so what i have done i have written one dot name is equal to ria and if one dot standard is equal to 10 one dot section is equal to a right followed by two uh, for the same now let's say here i have i have to enter um let's say many uh, i need to enter many uh, things let's say uh, here i just made two objects start of one and two let's say i just want to make many of the objects then what i would do i would just um i cannot write each and everything in one single line let's say i just write one dot name and i would write two dot name and i would write three dot name and i would assign different different values no we can't do that thing so basically uh, to solve this problem we use self and init constructors now how they do they help us in doing all of these things that i would just let you know in a while okay let's say what were the parameters which you were taking uh, sorry what were the instance variables that were named standard and section okay so i would just write here a name okay a name and then i would write even a standard and even i would write a section okay why i'm just adding this a i'm just adding it like um, you cannot like you can say there's a no rule to add this a before you can just write anything whatever you want fine i am just adding it because i just wanted to uh, like uh, i just want to differentiate between the thing like what i just mean for the differentiate i will just let you know why okay let's say here i just use my constructor that is self i would just write self dot name is equal to a name so what does this mean that this means that basically self dot name now name is one of my uh, parameter that i would writing downside so basically one self dot name is equal to in now a name, a name are the arguments or you can say this parameters which i have passed inside my function right a name a standard and a section these are the three arguments which we have passed inside our function so i will just write the same thing i would just write self dot a standard s t a n d a r d fine okay not a i would just only write a standard fine standard fine self dot standard is equal to a standard and even what i would do i would just write self dot okay section is equal to a section fine so this is done so this is basically how uh, we can we use this init and self constructors in our programs now what i have just done here is that i have made a function that is def okay now so def is a keyword by which we, we just make a function and the constructor and the function which i just use here is that underscore underscore any underscore underscore inside that the self automatically passed and that what i did i just na named three parameters this side that is a name a standard and a section fine i have done that now what else i have done after going excuse me after going inside my uh, uh function that is uh that is in interaction what i just did i used my self okay self is my this constructor which we have just passed inside this variable right okay so i have just wrote self dot name okay and i just passed it the argument which i have passed inside my function that is a name same with a standard same with a six till now we have done this thing okay now i just want to tell you one thing and just i just want to write a comment aside for that what i would do i would just make this thing okay and even what i would do i would just write okay 
when I run one dot details, then one turns to B. So now, what I had written this side, I'll just let you know in a little while. So, let's say here I would just make one more function, and the name for that function would be details. Okay, let's say I have just made a user defined function on this side, and the name for that function is details. And I just only write dev details. And now, as soon as I would just put the bracket, the self will be automatically passed inside my bracket. Right now, what I would do. Here I would just return a if string return if now what is this basically if string so for this also I have already discussed it in my previous video so if you just don't know about that what is if string so you can just go and have a look about that what are these if strings right I have written if return if now what I would just write let's say I would just write name is okay where is my a any name is and inside these bracket let's say I would just pass self dot name okay and even i would write even and okay uh standard is uh okay standard okay and even i would just write in the bracket i would write self dot standard fine so this is the statement which i just wrote here this is my like return statement which i just want to return in the form of a if this is let me just scroll it this side fine now this is done okay now what i have just written here that when i run one dot details then one turns to be self now what do i mean from this line so basically when i would just run in the print statement whenever i would just write one dot details let's say i just want to run this one uh, dot details i just want to run this details function using my object that is one right whenever i would just do that thing so basically the one that i have just written that is my object that is one that would be turned into self now what i just mean to say from here just let's let's do one thing this side so here what i would do i would just write one is equal to student and inside this student now i will pass all of the uh, all of the values which we have written here which are written above, above side let's say I, I want to pass the name standard section so now what i would do i would just pass all of these things in a single line so i would write name was uh, name is okay name is ria okay now what is the standard basically standard is 10 and what is the section section is a i would do the same thing for my two object also i would just write two is equal to a student and here let's say my name was Seema. my standard was 12 and the section was even b right so this is the done so here what i had done i haven't used different different line. let's say here what we were doing we're just writing all of these things in a separate separate line but here i haven't done i have just passed all of these things in a very single line now what the statement which i wrote that when i run one dot details it one turns to be self right now what does this means now if in the print statement i would write print and inside the brackets if i would just write one dot details d e t a uh, D E T A I L S, right? And these brackets. Now, when I would just run this one dot details, what output will I be getting? I would be okay. P R fine. Print. Now, what output will I be getting? I would be getting the output that name is Ria and the standard is ten. Now, how how I would be getting that thing? Let me just quickly tell you the things. The statement which I just wrote here that when I run one dot details, then one turns to be self. Now, what does this mean? Basically. In the print statement, when I would write one dot details, now my one would be acting as a self. So this self is present here. So it will print me in place of the self, then it will be one. So it will print me one dot name. Then it will print, print me one dot standard. And then it will print me one dot section. So I have just uh, given the one dot name as a name, one dot standard as a standard, and one dot section as a section. So, what are the uh, like values which I have passed to any a standard and a section? It will just go to one. One is my object. It will just see that what are the values given that are RIA 10 and A. So, it will be just printing me the output as this. So, I would just let me just write the standard and okay. And even I will just write that section is and in the brackets I would write one, okay, not one. I would just write self dot section fine so this is all done and now i'll just run my program 
See what output would did I just got here? That name is Ria and standard is 10 and section is a fine. So just let me go this side again. Fine. So see these were the values which I have just passed in my one object for my class that was student. So this was Ria 10 and a. So it just got into this details function. So here just saw that one dot name. Now one dot name is having the object uh, like value as real and so then printed me and the standard is self dot standard standard was having 10 and even the section was having the value as a fine so basically this is how we make the self and init fun constructors and this is basically how we use the self and init constructors okay so these are used for reducing the the like uh, we just reduce our work reduce our work in the sense that basically here we are just writing all of these things we are declaring all of these things in a very very separate lines but it is not the case for self and init constructors what it did here what, what i just did i just passed some parameters inside my function and that's it i just wrote self dot name is equal to a name self dot standard is equal to a standard and self dot section is equal to a section and that's it i just made a simple function that was details and i even made the two objects so this is all done here right and even if i just want to run my two dot objects i would write print two dot i would just write details and brackets and now when i would just run my program what output will i be getting see i just got name is sima and standard is 12 and section is b fine so here i just got this output if i just want to access any one uh one thing so let's say i just want to write print one dot name okay and even i will just run my program See what I got. I got my uh, answer as Ria, right? So basically, this is how the self and init construct, self and init data are constructs. So th this is this is basically how they work. Now, what we mean by the term that is constructor. Now, let me just tell you that thing also. So let's let's put a comment aside and let's write the definition. So I would just write giving giving arguments to a uh, okay a r g u m e n t arguments to a uh, class is called is called constructors okay yeah so here what i just wrote i just wrote that giving arguments to a class is called constructor so here what we are doing we are just giving some arguments to a class right my class is a student inside that what we are doing we are just giving some arguments that are Ria 10 and a let's say you can you can just uh, like give it a name as values we are st storing some values here inside my class that is student right so this is basically called as constructor that giving arguments to a class is called constructor i'm doing the same thing for my object that is true also i just wrote my class name that is a student and even i'm just passing some values or you can say some arguments inside my class that is a student so basically this is called giving arguments to a class is called as constructors fine now what else i need to do here is that we are we will just discuss about the class methods so for discussing about the class methods now i would not i would not copy the code from this side i would just write this code once more so that you can even write the code with me and you can just uh, get a more understanding of the things right now right i will just explain the things uh, one more time right i would just make a class that is a student s-t-u-d-e-n-t and even i would just put, put this code now what i would do i would just pass some uh, one class variable that is number of subject fine i would just write number of subjects let's say i just give a value of five now here what i would do i would just make a init function so let's underscore underscore init and then this so inside this cell what i would do i would just pass some parameters here right my parameters would be a name then my parameter would be a standard and even my parameter would be a section right so these are the things which i just passed inside my init function now what i would do i would just use my self self is my constructor right which you have just studied a few seconds uh, like before so i just write self dot and here i would just write name is equal to a name right then i would write self dot standard b a r d self dot standard is equal to a standard fine and now even what i would write i would write self dot section is equal to a section fine so this is here what i have done i have just made that in it uh, constructor in it as well and i have just declared some parameters inside that that were a name a section and a standard then i just use myself 
I just wrote self dot name is equal to a name self dot standard is equal to a standard self dot section is equal to a section. Now what I would do, I would just make a uh, one more function this side that is def, and I would just give it a val uh, like name as detail d e p a i l is fine. Inside this, the self is automatically passed, which I just told you previously also. So inside this, I would just return and if the string to so return if, and here I would write name is. And inside this, what I would write, I would write self dot name, fine. Then I would write name is this, comma. I would just write standard is even. I would just pass self dot standard in a bracket, self dot standard. And what I would write and uh, and section is and even I would just pass self dot section this side, right? So this is uh, the this is the way basically how we make our like you can say just f string. Right? This is I just I just made my f string this side. Now what I will do is go down side and I need to just scroll it also. So I would just do that thing. Um. Okay. Fine. Now what I would do now here the role comes about my class method. Fine. So I would just put this here this side. I would just put uh, add the date. Okay. Add the date and I would just write. Class method. So this is basically how you make your class methods, right? So this is basically the way for declaring your class method. I just wrote add the date and class method. Fine. Now what I would do, I would just name one more function here. Let's say the name for my function is dev. I would just rename a function that is change underscore subject. Okay. I just name that dev change underscore subject. This is the Function name that I just made. I'll just put the bracket and the CLS is automatically passed whenever we make this class method, right? So uh, as we were just making the init function, so in that cell was automatically passed, and basically when we make the class method, so this CLS is automatically passed here, right? I would just do enter, and here what I would write, I would write CLS, okay, CLS dot, and here I would just write the number of subjects, okay? Number of subjects is equal to leaves, okay? Now what here I have just done here I would just pass one parameter that is uh, leaves fine. Now here what I have done I have just made a function that is uh, change subjects fine and inside that that CLS was automatically passed and let's say I just pass one more parameter that is leaves fine. Now what I else had done here that I have just written CLS dot number of subjects. Number of subjects one uh, was one of my um, like variables which I have made above side right. So I just wrote CLS dot number of subjects is equal to leaves. So this is done. Now what I would do I have just come out of my function. Now here what I would do I have just make the objects. So uh, let's say that my object is one is equal to and even I was write my last name and even okay just let me okay just let me scroll back to the things this side okay fine yeah so i will just take it one line down fine so i just wrote one dot is two when one is equal to student inside this i would just pass the values if passing previously so i would just write ria then i would put a comma even i would write 10 and even i would write a okay so ria is my a name 10 is my a standard and a is my a section i would write two is equal to then again, I would write student and here I would write SEMA, okay, SEMA, I would just write comma, I would write 12 and even I would just what I would write, I would write B, fine, so this is done, I just made the objects for my class and even pass the values inside my class, um, uh, like you can say arguments, fine, now what I would do, I would just write my class name, let's say I just write student, my class name, student dot now here what I would write, I would write change underscore subject. Now what is this change underscore subjects? This was a function which we have made, right? So I have written student dot change underscore subject and let's say in the bracket I would just pass the value as 21, right? And now when I would just print, I would write print. And even I would just write my object name that is 2. I would write 2 dot and here I would just write here a number of subjects. Now when I would run my program. See what output did I got here? I got my output that is 12, right? So basically here what I have done in my function that was uh, I had just made a class method. And after that what I have done, I have just made a function that is change underscore subjects, right? So inside this function change underscore subjects, what I have done, the CLS was automatically passed. And even 
issues me and even i have just passed one uh, parameter that is leaves right so now what it was what we are doing i was just writing cls dot number of subjects is equal to right so number of subjects was the class variable which we have made right so what i just did i just write cls dot number of subjects is equal to leaves okay now uh, uh, after coming into my 17 line okay so my 17 line is this one this let me to so show that Okay, this side. What I just wrote, I just wrote my class name that is a student, right? I just put a dot and here I just write change underscore subject that is 21. Now, what is happening this side? Okay, so I just wrote my class name that is student. I just wrote change underscore subject. Now, this is what my function, right? So, inside that, what is pass the value? It is 21. So, the value for the list became 21. Now, the whatever the value was for number of subjects that has been changed to the leaves and the value that leaves is containing that is 21. So, whenever I would just write and run my print in like my object name and even I would just run my class variable that is number of subject, what I would be getting, I would be getting the value as 21, not 5. Okay, so because here what we have done, I have just assigned the uh, assigned the variable that number of subjects to leaves and leaves is containing the value as 20 one right so this was the whole concept about the class method now let's let's uh let's do a little bit of theoretical things about this class methods also so i would just put some codes here and let's start writing the things here itself so that you call can just have a note of the things in a proper way okay so let's write about the class method class method m e p h o okay class method can be access from any instance or any class first point is this class methods can be accessed from any instance or any class fine so we can just access this class methods from any instance or even any class fine now what's the next point next next point is that if we want to make a method that can be okay so let's let's do under accessed if you just want to make a method that can be accessed by instance as well as well as class and the okay as well as class and the argument which we pass up uh, and we and we don't want to take self then we use class method so here i just told you that basically why we use class method okay so first statement which i just wrote here that class methods can be accessed from any instance or any class and second if we want to make a method that can be accessed by instance as well as class and the argument also okay listen to the words very carefully that if i want to make a method that can be accessed by instance by class and as well as the arguments whatever the arguments we pass and we don't want to use we don't want to take self then we use class method so see that in the class method we haven't take self right so here what we are getting that is cls so the statement truly says that if you don't want to make a method that can be accessed by inst that can be instance uh, sorry once more if we want to make a method that can be accessed by instance as well as class and the argument which we pass and we don't want to take self then we use class method right so this is basically the thing that why you use class methods and class methods can be accessed from any instance from any instance uh, or any class fine so this was about whole about the class method so we today what we have seen we have seen firstly that basically how we declare a class and how we make the objects after that we have seen about the instance and the class variables then thirdly we have seen about the constructor that self add in it and basically we have even seen that what is a constructor and at last we have seen about the class method that basically how we can class method and what is the use of making this class methods right so I hope today you just got the idea about uh, like these oops content. These are the some uh, topics about this oops. Now in the next video also, we will be taking some more like some more topics about the oops, right? So this is all for this video. Till then, thank you and bye bye.